Hello, now in this lesson we're going to begin to talk about how information is organized in Excel. The first thing is you need to realize that what you're looking at when you look at an Excel document is you're looking at a workbook. So if you're reading in a book or if you're just communicating with someone else and someone's referring to a workbook, this entire document, really the file, is what we call the workbook. That's the whole enchilada. Think of it as a binder and inside the binder you can have sheets of paper, right? So inside of this workbook we can have different sheets. Now you may not understand in the beginning why you would care about having different sheets in Excel, but just think of it as different pages of a notebook or a workbook, which is exactly what it is. So here I'm looking at sheet two I've created. Sheet one was, if you click it, it was just a blank sheet that I started with. So you might have, for instance, raw data, raw tables in a sheet, and then you might have a chart in sheet two, and then you may have another sheet with more calculations or whatever, and you might want to have all of your information organized in different sheets. You know, I may want to have one of these sheets be the January information or the January sales data. I may want to have sheet two to be the February sales data and so on. So there's lots of different reasons to organize information in sheets if you want to. Now to add a sheet, you just click this plus button here. It actually pops up with a toolbar that says new sheet. So when I 